Well, what about yeah. um, focus or hyperactivity, depression, mood swings, ADD, all those sort of... Uh... Well, and so the ADD is more common in boys, right? The hyperactivity is more common in boys. And that's, that's how their organism deals with or responds to these, um, especially autism, which is on the spectrum, or the autistic spectrum includes anything from ADD through Asperger's to out and out, just massive trouble. All of that is includes or is predicated on the health of the muco mucosal linings in the gut. So if we have a healthy gut that's well able to defend itself against uh, external influences, you can maintain health. But as soon as the microbial terrain caves in and the, uh, the permeability sets in, leaky gut essentially equals leaky brain. And so whatever's going down in the gut that's not right will affect the brain. And you, you have this process called demyeli, or my, I can't even say it, myelinization, meaning that the myelin sheath of the nerves is getting damaged. And so we have issues in uh, motor control, and it also can happen in the brain, where we start having issues with ability to choose, ability to focus. It's, to an autistic person, it seems as though you were playing five radio stations at the same volume at the same time. It's really difficult for them to choose what to focus on. Like the regular brain is able to just direct its attention on something. Like you could pick the one conversation in a busy cocktail hour somewhere and stay with it. But for them, that's a near impossibility. And that's why you see them uh, trying to distract themselves with some body ticks or covering their ears, closing their eyes, humming to themselves, and, and worse. Anyway, I'm just getting into a sidebar here. Um, sulfur helps the gut, which then helps the brain. <laughs> <laughs>